This is a show about drugs. You may want to watch it with your family. Or someone you can talk to and ask questions. Exercise your head. Read. Star is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. McCarver Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't save all on breath. I bet you can. Admit it, Jamal. You miss Casey, don't you? Well, now that she's hundreds of miles away and not invading my room or leaving trails of peanut butter and jelly all over the place, then, yeah, I, I guess I kind of miss my cousin, Casey. Hey, look. Hey. That's my student ID card. What was it doing in the trash? I don't know. I left it in the pocket of my new jacket. In my locker. My, my new jacket, it's gone. The lock's been broken. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check our clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. What a trip. I had to beg my mother and father for the sheepskin jacket. I promised I wouldn't let anything happen to it. What's up? Hi. Someone stole Tina's jacket. What? Your new sheepskin? Yeah. Don't worry, Tina. We'll help you get your jacket back. You know you can count on us, Tina. You can wear my jacket home. But it's cold outside. That's all right. I got my muscle to keep me warm. They call me the warminator. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. You're a really good friend. Hello, Andrew. How you doing, man? Me? Fine. Walk to class with me. I've got something to talk to you about. Sure. You're Lenny, right? Me? Yeah, Lenny. Cool hat. Thanks. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Thanks. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, please. My camera's gone! Someone stole my camera! Another robbery. Are you serious? You want me to try out for the dragons? You were great on the court the other day. You're a whiz, man. Ah, come on. I'm serious. You've got some nice moves, Alejandro. Thanks. You can call me Alex. Alex? Why? I thought your name was Alejandra. Well, it is, but everyone calls me Alex. I believe a man deserves the respect of being called by his full name. Don't you? I've thought of that before. See you on the court. Four o'clock? Catch you later. All right. Guess, Guess what? What? <laughs> Someone just broke into Maria's locker. They stole her camera. Oh, you're kidding. Nope. Lenny and Tina have lunch this period, so they're going to get the casebook started. We're all going to meet at my place after school. I can't. The Dragons need an alternate, and Kevin wants me to try out this afternoon. Yo, get serious. They're the best three-man b-ball team in the neighborhood. I know. <laughs> you go, boy. Locker thefts. Tina's sheepskin jacket, Maria's super shots camera. 
I asked Maria if there was anything else besides super shots written on our camera. So Ghost Rider can look for it. Right. But there isn't any writing other than super shots. Just a daisy sticker she put on the back. Well, at least we'll be able to identify it if we find it. Let's go report these robberies to Miss Kelly. Lila, are you all right? What happened? Someone broke into my locker and stole my tape player. That makes three. What? Three locker robberies today. Someone stole my jacket and Marie's camera. Get out of here. Delilah. Were there any words on your tape player that might help identify it? No, just Tronic, the brand name. Tronic's a really popular brand. It'd be impossible to know it was Delilah's if that's the only word on it. You're right. How do you expect to find it anyway? You got some special radar that finds words? Violence in the schools. Yes, Nikki, that's one of the biggest problems facing cities today. What else? Homelessness. There are thousands of people who are forced to live on the streets. Homelessness. Yes. Anything else? Drugs. Drugs are a major problem everywhere. Drugs. Yes, Jeffrey. Okay, now, break up into teams of two and choose a city problem that you both care about. Then? Research, research, research. research. Right, find out everything you can about it. Then show how that problem affects people's lives and what you would do about it. How do you want us to write this up? Well, that's up to you. You can write a report, create a poster, uh, do a skit, write a song, a poem. Be creative. We need new ways to think about solving these problems. How can we find out about this stuff? Well, there's lots of ways to dig out information. Books, newspapers, magazines. Talk to people who know a lot about your topic. Or talk to me. I'm always here if you need help. And of course, all our projects will be shared here in class in two weeks. Until then, we'll use this class time to work on our projects. I won't assign any homework, but I'll expect you to get together with your partner after school in the weekend. Yes. So, what topic are we going to choose for our urban studies project? Uh, Kevin already asked me to team up with him. Sorry. Oh. Oh, uh, that's all right. I just... Come on. Kevin asked me to hang out with them. See ya. Great. Now who am I going to work with? Hi, Jamal. Hi. I don't have a uh, partner for the urban studies project yet. Are you working with anybody? It's not a big deal, Papa. Well, I'm proud of you anyway. Only a real gentleman would be kind enough to give his jacket to a lady in need. Our son is becoming a man right before our eyes. I think he has a ways to go yet, Eduardo. <laughs> well, since I'm becoming a man, I should have my own room, right, Papa? Uh... I'm getting too old to share a room with Gabby. And you said you'd think about the storage room. I know. And I am thinking about it. I gotta go. Good luck. Bye. Hope you make the team. Thanks. Alejandro, don't forget, we have a big delivery coming at 5 o'clock, and I'm going to need your help. I won't be late, Papa. Bye. Bye-bye. You trying out for the dragons, too? I think I've had practice first. <laughs> Miss Kelly was real mad about the thefts. She's gonna talk to the school board about getting more security in the halls. Do we have any suspects? No, not yet. All we have is a list of the stuff that was stolen. My sheepskin jacket, Maria's Super Shots camera with a daisy sticker on the back, and Delilah's tape player that says Tronic on it. Was there any writing on your jacket? No. Wait a minute. There was a grocery list in the pocket. Great. Let's ask Ghost Rider to track it down. But my mother wrote the list. All the words are in Vietnamese. Do you think Ghost Rider will be able to read it? He might. 
Remember when he helped you find those Portuguese words to use in your note to Safira? Yeah, that's right. And even if he can't understand Vietnamese, he'll be able to look for the words. Don't worry about it. I'll give you the money tomorrow, Victor. Don't blame me, Kevin. You say that every day. What's going on? I was a fool to lend you 15 bucks. Stop acting like a crybaby. It's time for Alejandro's tryout. I'm tired of begging you for my money. I'm tired of doing everything your way. And I'm tired of carrying you on the court. Carrying me? Yeah, that's right. Check it out. It's all in your professional playbook. It's in there. Give it to me. I quit. What about the tournament? We don't need Victor. If he wants to act like a little baby and quit, let him. Are you ready to see if you have what it takes to be a dragon? Yeah. Take out the ball. Okay, this is what I wrote to Ghost Rider. Someone stole my jacket. A grocery list is in the pocket, but it's in Vietnamese. This is what the list says. Gao, that's rice. Nuk mum, that's fish sauce. And bun, rice noodles. Can you find this list and read what's near it? Me too, Ghost Rider. Sure hope he finds my jacket. Victor's place on the team. Welcome to the Dragons. Thanks. <laughs> You're gonna need 50 bucks. For what? You gotta buy a Red Riding Hood. Huh? <laughs> Red Riding Hood is our code name for our Dragons jacket. Oh. You better get to my house so I can teach you the key plays for tomorrow's game. Tomorrow? Yeah, we play the Knights. They're good. But we're better. If we win the next two games, we'll play for the Fort Green Championship. If? If we win? What's wrong with you? Are you bugging? It's when we win. <laughs> Not if. And with Alejandro on our team, the unbeatable, undefeatable, three-peatable dragons will be champs again. Shoot it! <laughs> I love Alabama. Alabama? My jacket's in Alabama? That's like 2,000 miles away. Maybe that's something Ghost Rider read in your jacket. I love Alabama. For sale, Ralph's. There's more. Body work, used batteries, alarms. Don't worry, Tina. We'll get your jacket back. Yeah, but first we have to figure out what these clues mean. So your grandfather was a professional basketball player. That's so cool. Yeah. He died last year. Sky Michael's most valuable player. 1949. Incredible. Can I hold it? Nobody touches Aladdin's lamp. Aladdin's lamp? That's what I call my grandfather's trophy. 
Kevin rubs it for every game for good luck. I always played better when he was at the game, so... So, when you touch the trophy, it makes it feel like he's with you or something, right? Yeah. When I start playing pro ball, I'm gonna take Aladdin's lamp on the road with me. So I can touch it before every game. I got to meet Sky Michaels once. I couldn't believe it. A pro giving me pointers. He was so cool. Got that right. Got something I want to show you. My grandfather taught me how to keep plays like a real professional basketball coach. See? My grandfather had it made for me. We keep all our plays in this section. I'll let you hold on to it for a few days so you can memorize them. Cool. What's back here? Oh, this is where we keep a record of all the games. You know, who we played, how many points were scored, comments about each game, and what we need to work on. Stuff like that. We have to figure out how these clues fit together. Then we'll know where the jacket is. Yeah, let's start piecing the puzzle. How can these things fit together? Well, Ralph's might be some kind of business or store. Why? It's a name, and it's all in capital letters. And for sale is a sign Ghost Rider might have read at a store. That sounds about right, Gab. Let's see if there's a listing in the phone book for Ralph's. Here it is. Wow. There's so many Ralphs. There's Ralph's All-Star Gym, Ralph's Discount Store, Ralph's Florist, Ralph's Garage, and Ralph's Sneakerama. We have to find which one of these places would have all the words Ghost Rider read. I love Alabama. For sale. Body work. That's it! Right. Body work and Ralph's All-Star Gym fit together. You know, a gym is where you work your body. But why would a gym sell used batteries? And alarms? Uh, you're right. It only fits one of the clues. What about Ralph's Discount Store? A store would have a sign that said for sale. And they'd sell alarms and batteries. But no used batteries. You're right. And the body work clue doesn't fit either. Yeah, we can forget about Ralph's florist because for sale is the only clue that would fit a flower shop. What about Ralph's garage? Garages do bodywork on cars. Cars have alarms. But what about used battery? How can a car run on used battery? Well, my father bought a used battery for our truck. It was cheaper. All the clues fit. Except I love Alabama. Yeah, but five out of six clues is great. Let's go check out Ralph's Garage tomorrow after school. Okay. But... But what? What's my jacket doing at a garage? Three blind mice. <laughs> That's the code name for one of our coolest plays. We use fairy tales, nursery rhymes, any stories to name our plays. That way the other team won't know what we're talking about. Isn't that kind of, you know, babyish? No way. My grandfather was a fighter pilot in World War II. They used fairy tales as code names on their secret bombing raids. On his most dangerous mission, my grandfather's code name was Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, I guess not so babyish after all. Spencer, let's teach Alejandro three blind mice. Turn off the magic mirror. You call your television the magic mirror? Yeah, I've got code names for everything. All right. Let's do it. I'm player one. Alejandro, you're taking Victor's place, so you're player two. And Spencer, you're player three. Spencer takes out the ball, giving it to you, Alejandro. Then I run down the left side till I get to the corner. Uh-huh. You dribble it towards Spencer like you're going to pass him the ball. Okay. You count to three, and you fake passing him the ball. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Good. Now, I fake out the guy who's guarding me and cut to the basket. Without looking, you pass me the ball. Oh, I get it. The guys on the other team are the three blind mice. Because they're so busy checking out you and Spencer, they don't even see me sneaking up to the basket. What a setup. 
Come in. Oh, I didn't know you had company. Hi, Spencer. Alejandro, this is my mom. Hi. Nice to meet you, Alejandro. Ooh, I'm gonna be late for work. I gotta go. Bye. Oh, and don't forget your homework. Bye, guys. How come your mom works at night? The bank she works at pays more if you work at night, so... I get the house to myself after she leaves. What a life. Do another play. Wait a minute, what time is it? Uh, 5.30. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be home at 5, tell my dad at the store. I gotta get home. Great. Since you have a job, you shouldn't have any trouble earning the money to pay for your red riding hood. Well, I don't actually get paid. You don't get paid? Well, Cinderella. <laughs> Better get home before you turn into a pumpkin or something. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. I thought you were growing up. I guess I was wrong. A grown-up does not forget about his job. Some job. I don't even get paid. Oh, so now you want a salary? I have to buy a dragon's jacket. It costs $50. $50? We don't have that kind of money to throw away. So then let me get a real job, so I can earn the money. You have a real job, right here, helping your family to run this store, so that you can have a place to live and to put food on the table, and you get paid a lot better than you think. But I just want... I don't want to hear any more about it. Now you mop. was right. I am Cinderella. Well, hi, Mr. Johnson. I've got a great idea. We're going to do a project on a problem that's destroying our cities, places all over America. A problem that's... The topic is drugs. Well, it's a very powerful topic. Have you decided on how to approach it? Not yet, but I was a thinking. musical. A what? Yes, a musical. A big musical production about drugs and how they ruin people's lives. We could have a cast of thousands. Oh, Mr. Johnson, I'm sure we'll come up with another idea. Yeah, well, before that, you need to figure out what, what part of the drug problem you want to tackle. You now, Mr. Oliver, the drug counselor, he's here this week. He's a good source of information. All right. We'll check him out after school. Thanks, Mr. Johnson. How's your project coming? Uh, project? Yes. That's what this class time is for. Which topic did you choose? Topic? Uh, we're sorry, Mr. Johnson, but we don't have a topic yet. Um, the Dragons are playing an important game this afternoon, and Alejandro just made the team. I was teaching him the plays. We'll put it away. Well, I uh, appreciate your honesty. Make sure you choose a topic by tomorrow. I don't want you guys falling behind. Whew, I thought you were dead. Relax. I know how to handle teachers. Ralph! This is it. Good luck. For sale. Body work. Use batteries and alarms. All the signs that Ghost Rider read. But where's Isle of Alabama? I don't see it. Me neither. This must be the place Ghost Rider found my jacket. Yeah, the door's open. Let's go in. Hey, who's that big guy? Must be Ralph. Yeah, big Ralph. What's the Lila doing here? Hey, there's Isle of Alabama. I like your jacket is in that suitcase. Yeah. She's buying her tape player back. Big Ralph must be the thief. No. I've seen lots of guys like him before. I bet he's a fence. A what? A fence. 
those guys buy stolen stuff from thieves, and they sell it to other people. So whoever robbed the lockers must have sold the stuff to the fence. Well, he stole my jacket. Maybe he steals too. I put him down as our first suspect. How did Talila know how to find the tape layer? We should put her in the suspects list. But she bought her stuff back. Why would a thief do that? I think we should put her down on our other clue section. She might have some information that'll lead us to the thief. Okay. One of us should ask Delilah how she knew Big Ralph had a tape player. Hey, it's open. What's open? The trunk. I can get the jacket back. No! Victor, no! Victor! Yes! Hey! What are you doing in there?